Dom Chill, Hillary issues sick Benghazi announcement, she's disgusting. Hillary Clinton continues to defend her role in the disaster that occurred in Benghazi, Libya. In an interview on The Hugh Hewitt Show, she discussed her book entitled What Happened. During the interview, she states that she does not believe that her leaving the State Department on the night of the attack in Benghazi contributed to the tragedy that claimed the life of the U.S. ambassador. Conservative radio talk show host Hugh Hewitt spoke with the former Secretary of State earlier this week. When asked whether or not her presence at the State Department on the night of the attack would have affected the outcome, she said, I doubt it, Hugh. I doubt it, because that was never the principal charge that the Republicans and others made against me, and those in the administration. So I don't think that silenced the critics, because there seemed to be a calculation that this was an issue that they could make political. On September 11, 2012, Islamic extremists attacked an American compound in Benghazi. The attack resulted in the deaths of four people, including Ambassador Christopher Stevens. In the months leading up to the attack, Stevens had repeatedly asked for more security measures to be implemented as violence was increasing in the area. The State Department continually refused to grant Stevens' request for extra security in the compound. Senator Ron Johnson, RWI, who was the head of the congressional investigation into the attacks, said that the State Department not only failed to honor repeated requests for additional security, but instead actually reduced security in Libya. When the attack occurred, the U.S. military was unable to send troops into the area in time to rescue the ambassador and his companions. The deaths of these Americans could have been prevented had the State Department took their requests for security seriously. To make matters worse, the Obama administration was not truthful about the motivation behind the attack. In the aftermath of the terrorist assault, the Obama administration claimed that the attack was a response to an offensive video about Islam on YouTube. They claimed the video enraged the terrorists, who decided to retaliate by attacking the compound. That was a lie. Subsequent investigations found that the attack had been planned for months. The attackers were not getting revenge for a video, they were carrying out a carefully coordinated assault designed to kill the Americans working in the compound. Unfortunately, before the truth about the attack came out, the person who created the video was unfairly blamed for the attack. It's not surprising that Clinton is still defending her handling of the situation in Benghazi. It was one of the biggest blemishes on her political career and it resulted in her resignation as Secretary of State. The Benghazi disaster is also one of the reasons Clinton did not win the election. Her handling of the fiasco caused Americans to doubt her judgment and competence. The fact that she continues to make excuses for her mistakes likely discouraged voters from supporting her. Benghazi is another reminder that Clinton was not fit for the office of President.